Uh, hello, this is Jeremy Smith once again, and today we're going to do a quick, another one of those five minute uh, tutorials, which actually end up being a lot longer than five minutes, but anyway, a uh, five minute tutorial on um, a question I also get asking about um, how, how, how can I do like crazy shaped, you know, w windows quickly in Revit uh, without, you know, creating a whole custom family for windows or something of that nature. And uh, the best way to do that is actually using uh, curtain systems. So just to do a quick little neat trick here, I've got to open up a new project. Um, in this case you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see soon enough. Um, so let's say you had a wall, a new generic wall, all right, sounds good, 81 feet, mm, why not? And um, let's go to 3D here. And so let's say you wanted to make like a triangle window or, or an octagon window, not just a generic, you know, square window. But if you want to do a generic window, you can easily go to window and, you know, choose a, you know, a generic, you know, fixed window. But, hey, I don't want it just a generic, you know, rectangular window. I want, like, a triangle or something crazy. Because my project's focused on triangles or, <laughs> or I love, or I love uh, octagons. So, um, so, how, so how, how do I go about doing that without creating a custom, you know, window family? Uh, the best way to do that is to actually embed a curtain system inside of that wall. So... If we go to level one, we already have a wall here. Um, I'm just going to change the detail to fine. It's not really necessary. But uh, anyway, so what you want to do is go to a curtain system right here, curtain system. And what we're going to do is actually not curtain system. Sorry, go back home. We actually need a wall, but this time we're going to choose a curtain wall. Which a curtain wall, how it differs from these is that it has no grid lines, it has no mullions, it's just a simple sheet of glass. So we're going to go to curtain wall one, which is just a simple sheet of glass, and we're going to go to its properties first. To element properties, edit type. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this one and call it curtain window wall. For us to create our windows with, hit OK. And we're going to check this automatically embed button. What that means is it's going to automatically embed that wall into whatever host wall we draw it on top of. So we can draw a wall straight on top of this one um, and it's just going to automatically embed inside of it without sort of this overlapping problem that you may have. And for curtain panel, instead of none, we're going to actually use um, system panel glazed. So it actually put some glass in there. And join condition of the rest of this is really important unless you want to actually put mullions inside of it and stuff like that, but that's not really. We'll do all that custom later. So we're going to do a curtain wall, which is basically just pure glass, change the curtain panel to glazed, and automatically embed it. Uh, function type, depending on what you're using it for, it's not really important. And say okay. This is strictly for you know presentation purposes. You know you're doing like a studio project and you want it to look nice. It's, I wouldn't really go through this flow if you're doing you know scheduling, construction documents, things of that nature. This is strictly studio <laughs> modeling. Alright, so that's set up. Um, here I'm just going to change this to say, so, so it doesn't take up the whole wall. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be five feet off the ground. And, um, and unconnected height is 10 feet. This, this is just, it's not really necessary. It's just so that when I draw this wall, it won't take up the whole wall. It'll actually just be a little strip of glass in, in the middle. So I'm going to hit OK. Now you can just draw this right on top of whatever wall you're trying to put your, your triangle, uh, you know, window into. I'm just going to draw it along whatever distance you need for the window to be. I'm just going to do a generic 44 inch, or 44 foot glass. And you'll see that here it takes up that. There it is right there. There's the wall we just put in. And it automatically embeds it inside of this wall. That's what that automatically embed, you know, accomplished. You can even have a window inside of that glass wall, so let me turn on shady edges, you can actually tell. Yeah. So there's actually a, a glass window inside of that glass wall we just put in there, um, which is actually pretty interesting, but uh, let's take it out of there. All right, so here's that glass wall. Now, you said, no, I want a triangle window. I don't want a rectangle window. What's going on here? Yeah, no, we'll get into that. So anyway, we're going to select this wall and using the edit profile option here 
we're actually going to change the shape of that. So if we go to Edit Profile, this is what actually defines that wall. So if we change this, it'll change the whole wall. So you might be starting to get what we're about to do here. I'm actually going to change this shape. You can actually just delete all of this and actually go in and draw whatever shape you want to. So we can make, say, a circle window real quick just by choosing Circle. Bam. We can do like a pentagon, whatever, six sides. I don't know what that is. Hexagon? Yeah. We can do a hexagon here. We can say, you know, we want eight sides. We want an octagon here. Well, I mean, wherever you draw these is where it will draw the wall. So you can do as many closed loops as you want to. You can also do a closed loop inside of another closed loop, which will actually cut out that loop. So you'll see what I'm talking about once I hit finish. Now, so we have a circle window, we have an octagon window. Say, oh, oh, you want a triangle? Sorry, let's go ahead and draw your triangle window. You might want to actually do this in, you know, in an elevation view if you're trying to be accurate, but this is just, you know, just trying to show you how to, you know, do it. So, all right, so you edit that profile, and now you're creating these crazy shapes that you want, and now once you're done drawing the shapes you want, you can actually hit finish, finish wall, and there is what you want. It'll show you the dotted lines of where the original wall was, but wherever you drew those lines is where it will actually create uh, what you want. So, why well, my orbit isn't working, but let's uh, do orbit from this. So there's your crazy octagon window and your triangle window. Simple. Now, if you actually want to put some mullions on there so it doesn't seem like they're just cutouts in the whole wall system, you can. And to do that, you go to Home, and we're going to go to... Before you can place mullions, you have to have a curtain grid. So... What you want to do is curtain grid and draw, say you wanted a grid here, right down the center, break that window in half, one here. What curtain grids do is simply uh, cut up the glass. So first you cut the glass and then you can place the mullion on it. But that's not really necessary for just simple um, border mullions. So you can go ahead and draw those right now. So we can go to mullion and we can choose these edges here, which We'll draw a mullion on the edges of the windows, just like that. Now, if you wanted some on the inside, that's when you use the curtain grid to break it up in half, and now you can place a mullion on that one as well. So there you go. Now you can choose a few sides here, bam, bam. You can choose the type of mullion you want before you place it. So let's say we want circular mullions on the top and bottom of this one, and square ones on the sides. I don't know why you would, why you would do that, but, you know, hey, maybe you want to do that. All right, uh, five by five, why not? It's not it's too big. Uh, let's go to <clears throat> circular. And you can also just do all grid lines to make it quicker. Just say all grid lines and then choose the edge here. Careful. It'll fill up every one that's open. So there you have a crazy octagon window open in the center of the window. And you have a pentagon or hexagon here. Circle, triangle. And there you have it. Just a simple, quick way of putting in crazy shaped windows inside of a building without having to create a whole family. So, all right, leave any comments and questions you have, and we'll be happy to address them. Thanks. Bye.